Hey everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. We are at the finale of the Sonic 3 portion of the game, which is kind of exciting. As you can see, uh, the Death Egg is resting in the background, getting ready to be launched back into orbit with the thanks of the uh, Master Emerald's energy, which is just so cool. I love this whole idea of the stage. Like, ah, everything is just so cool about it. And Sonic's racing across the... Uh, Eggman's base here in this uh, this lake, trying to get to the Death Egg and stop it from being able to launch into space. It's just really cool. Of course, like I mentioned in the last couple videos, uh, the music here is different from the original Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It had to be changed because of Michael Jackson's involvement with the game and composing the music, but it is what it is. And before long, we will be uh, transformed into Super Sonic, so it won't really matter uh, anyways. So, uh, I'll be honest, Launch Base is not really a bad stage at all. Um, it is kind of bland, uh, in a sense, but I'll be honest, I think it's still plenty cool. It's a cool stage, but, um, level design is a little kind of weird, <laughs> I guess. The way it kind of, like, the level constantly is, like, doubling back on itself. It's, like, up and over and then down and under. It's... A little strange, but you know, like I said, I, I do like it. I like the aesthetic. Why Eggman needs those double teacup kind of things, I have no idea. But hey, that doesn't matter. Who doesn't? Go shoot us up. You know, it's unfortunate that when the Death Egg finally returned in a Sonic game... As a part of the story... Oh, sorry about that. Um, they like, murdered it. <laughs> they brought it back in forces and just made it like, so useless. Which is really unfortunate, because I, I like the Death Egg in a, as a concept. And, you know, I think Sonic 4 Episode 2 really had something going with the Death Egg Mark 2 idea. Like, Little Planet being trapped inside of the, a Death Egg, just, ah, it's so cool. That's unfortunate that we never got episode three. There we go right this way. Give me those rings, and let's just take off. We in this. Oh, Eggman, come back here. What's that? And <gasps> it's him. Knuckles, I can't believe you would do that. Why Knuckles was allowed to blow up the building by Eggman kind of boggles my mind. It is what it is. This boss is like straight, uh, straight up the inspiration for like boss number one in something. Like that. Let's be honest. And there we go. He's been defeated. All right, that's it for Act One of Launch Base Zone, and now on to Act Two, which honestly is the, the probably the more lame part of this stage, besides the boss fight. The music here, though, is quite nice. It's a little bit more bland just because right now we're down by the water and it's a little bit more like this washed out kind of look. But still, cool in my opinion. Flamethrower. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't remember asking, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Super spin dash. And let's get some rings. So if we do that and then we come back this way, you'll see there's one ring below us. And we can just uh, miss entirely. <laughs> Not what I meant to do, but I tried. I tried to be cool. And it blew up in my face. Hey, free rings are free rings. And now we 
I got a shield to protect us, which is super cool. Good for those uh, flamethrowers. Okay. Supersonic time question mark? Alright, let's blitz through the second half of the game. Oh, I forgot that seals those off, so. It was a trick! It was a trap! But it's not me. I actually kind of like the, uh, the idea of Sonic, like, going through the water pipes uh, at the stage. Just me. Those laser gates really messed me up when I was a kid. I timed them horribly each time. But guess what? I got better, and now I can just walk through it as an immense purple than hedgehog. I will be honest though, I think uh, Launch Base has such a cool uh, boss fight. And I wish we saw something uh, like that return in the modern Sonic games. Like maybe a modern version of uh, the Launch Base boss, but I don't want to like, name drop it just in case uh, I spoil it for anybody who's just checking this game out for the first time through my playthrough. Let's get some speed. Really, not too much left in this level, I don't think. I think we're right here at the end. So these rings will. Yeah, this is it. These rings last us the last little bit there. Oh, I'm gonna use this to uh, basically deactivate my uh, uh, transformation, I guess. Didn't need anything from that. I'm gonna use the fire shield to destroy Eggman here. This boss is a little lame, but you'll see where this is going in a minute. Whoa! I guess now is a good time to use our super form. And there we go. It's him! Why Knuckles is standing out here on a platform in the middle of the lake, I, I don't know. How he got there is the even better question. I suppose he could have glided, but... I don't know. Alright, it's too late now. The Death Egg is rising. Thrusters are activated, and it is coming right out of the water. Matter of fact, how has Knuckles at this point not noticed that, like, Eggman is clearly using some giant energy source, the Master Emerald, to power this Death Egg? And why is he wanting to help Eggman launch this giant space station into the sky? That's clearly very deadly. And there we go. Uh, there we go. Hoorah. We did it. It's never that simple, though. Now, for the final boss of the Sonic 3 portion of the game, Big Arms. So, you gotta be careful with this boss. I don't know if they changed it in Sonic Origins. However, uh, if you get caught by his hands, he can throw you out of your super form. And we do not want that to happen. He can just straight up do that, and... Uh, he could in the original, I, I, like I said, I don't know if they changed that for Sonic Origins, but he will body slam the ring straight out of you, which makes the boss even more cool in my opinion. But there we go. That is it. Eggman has been defeated. The Death Egg is blowing up and now plummeting right back down to the planet below. So we did it. Even though the Death Egg is falling, it's not completely over yet as it's not blown up completely. So I'll see you guys in the next part to see what happens next.